Nature. So this week we've been asking which team will win the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. which team has the better quarterback as well. So now it's time to ask which team has the best wide receivers. Uh huh. We do, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised you didn't bring the football in here. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to break anything. <laughs> exactly. Not trying to get fired. But we do have the best wide receivers because we have wide receiver wontons. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so Chef Smith is in the kitchen live with us right now to let us know how to make them. Hey, Chef. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Doing great. All right, so today what we're going to do is the wide receiver wonton, and uh, we start with some pork sausage, and we've already cooked the sausage. Sometimes you're able to get a really nice fine crumble, mm -hmm. and I've got that here. If you're not able to do that, great thing you can do is uh, go ahead and drain the sausage and then put the sausage into a food processor and, and get oh. it really nice and fine. Then you want to add to that one pound of the sausage. You want to add one cup of salsa. How spicy is that salsa? Is it mild it, or are we talking like really spicy? This is this is mild salsa, but okay. if you like really hot salsa, you can, you know, amp it up a little bit. And we're doing one cup of cheese and we're going to mix this together. Okay, and we're going to allow it to to melt together. And I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. So uh, and I've got that mixture already made. And so what I'm going to do is scoop out just a little bit, put it into one of these wonton wrappers. And what I do for the wonton wrappers is I pinch from the middle and then that way I get the nice little uh, points at the end. So it just kind of sticks there on its own? You don't have to kind of wet it or do anything like that? It just kind of it falls into place? Correct, you don't. Nice. So and and I have this little mini muffin pan uh, that helps hold the form. Oh. Um, so the best thing about these things is you can add sour cream or you can leave the sour cream off. Uh, they're wonderful and as a matter of fact you really can't just eat one of them. <laughs> um, so they're sort of like potato chips that way. And with the um, wonton wrappers that's the same as egg roll wrappers or you can do vice versa. It seems like I've heard some people do that sometimes. Can you? Absolutely. Okay. So you can find wonton wrappers or if you only find egg roll wrappers one of the things that you can do is split those in four okay. and and then use those or if you like really really large uh, wontons you can make a really big one. <laughs> yeah okay so, so instead of the mini pan you use a regular pan. Correct. The muffin pan. <laughs> absolutely absolutely. Okay. So these go into a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Oh, that's nothing. Yeah. And it's nothing and um, and the best thing is is that you can make the the uh, middle way ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You can put it in the refrigerator, pull it out. You can also do these wontons ahead of time mm -hmm. and then pull them out and put them in the oven just for a couple of minutes to warm them up. Would you can you know consider cooking these with say chicken or steak or is this the best meat for the wonton? My personal opinion, these are the best. Okay. This is the best, yeah, recipe. Okay, Lenita, let's right, go ahead and try it. It's time for us to try it. I'm um, going with the sour cream one. The, aren't they cute, though? <laughs> they put the whole thing? Okay, yeah, I'm getting the one with um, okay. sour okay. cream, too. Ah. Mmm. Crunchy. It's delicious. <laughs> Why, well, I receive it one time. I like it. Touchdown. I want to have a Super Bowl party just to make these. I'm not having a party, though. <laughs> party at Lenitra's house. We're back after the break. All right. <laughs> Recipe on our website. <laughs>